It's been a rough couple of years. A lot has happened to me. It's been tough. Family changes, health issues. I didn't work for a while. And I love what I do. Love what I do. But I'm back and feeling good. Da 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 da. <laughs> I got a lot full of cars and the phones are ringing off the hook. What could go wrong? What a day. Lots of fun, and we know what it takes to be number one. We're just out here in the Florida sun. Ted's got classic cars all over the place. When I was younger, I used to race. We'll be riding high when the day is done. Ted, Vernon, please sell me some fun. We got time for a one my music set. But I would prefer that red Corvette. Ted, will you sell it to me, please, oh, please? I just want those shiny car keys. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, Woo! South Beach Classics. Delivery for Ted. It's me. There you go, sir. Have a good day. Someone sent me flowers. Ted, glad to hear you're back. See you tomorrow. Melinda. Oh, no. This is today. Oh, God, I want to go home. <sighs> today started out like a normal day. And then someone brought me these half-dead flowers, and I wondered who they came from. And then I read the card, and it's cursed. They're from my sister, Melinda, saying, see you tomorrow. So I figured I got a day to live. And I realized that these are a day late. This is not good. <laughs> Javier, how are you? Dad, nice to finally meet you. It's your baby, huh? Yeah, that's what we talked about. How you doing? It's a nice car. What do you think? Straight. This gentleman in Javier called me that had a 73 Roadrunner for sale, been in his family for years, and he was ready to sell it. And I'm sitting in my office, and I heard the rumble. And then I hear the beep, beep, and I know it's the Roadrunner. <laughs> you know, you're not going to forget that sound. That's iconic. So I came outside. 73? 73. All of original. Of really? Loaded. Power windows, AC, 340. AM, FM, 340. And a sunroof, sunroof, which is really rare. That's I know a that. rare option. Yep. You don't want it anymore? I got a lot of things I got to do first. And uh, I think it's time to move on. It's a 73 Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, it's loaded. And somebody special ordered it. It's got a sunroof, power windows, automatic, limited slip, 344 barrel. It's a, it's a rare bird. I'm looking to make a deal with Ted for 40 grand. I'm thinking he's probably gonna come back at me somewhere south of 30 just to soften me up, because I'm asking all the money. Well, it's something definitely I could use. I do really good with Mopars. They don't stay here very long. Uh, if your price is reasonable, I'll buy the car. Well, I'm looking to get 40 for it. Why don't you sell it to me for 25 grand? Let's have a nice day and I'll take you to lunch. You know what? Sight unseen, I think that that's not a bad offer. But I'm looking to get 40. I mean, to be honest with you, that's the number I'm looking for. I can't even sell it for that. So sure you can. No. no sure you no. can. In this condition, without me working on it, it's not going to do that. Yeah, she just needs you to do a little wash and wax, that's all. You know it, I know it. You're tough. You know, I, I, I looked at the car. I noticed it was a repaint but it has a factory sunroof, which is rare, factory air, power windows. It's a real special car. And I'm probably the only game in town that'll pay the kind of money I'll pay for that car. So we're both on the same track. We just got to meet at the right place. And he wanted 40 grand, which I could not begin to sell it for. Here, I'll let you sell it to me, 30 grand. 
let you sell it to me for 30 grand. Hmm. And that would be really good for you to do, and we'll be done. 35. I mean, oh, no, Come on, man. no. You know, looking at the Roadrunner, my ideal price that I'd love to buy it for is like 25 to 28 grand. Then I'm going to make a nice lick on it. But that wasn't going to happen today. 32 grand, that's where I'm, I'm done. 33. Come on. It's a oh, grand more, man. Is really that, does it really matter? Does it matter to you? Yeah, it does. You got a coin? Just so happens I do. Do you? Yeah, absolutely. Here's a silver dollar. I'll, I'll flip you for 32 or 33. You flip. And I'll call it or you call you it? You call it. I'm calling it. Absolutely. You ready? Ready. Heads. Tails. I just spent 33 grand. <laughs> You're buying lunch. I'm buying lunch. Come on, I'll Fair get, enough. Let's go do this. Yeah, I got it. Let's go do this. That's why I lost a thousand bucks. That was quick. I came in asking for 40. Ted comes back at me at 25. I told him I couldn't take 25, but I brought my number down to 35. He seemed pretty amenable at 30, and I said I couldn't take the 30. He comes back at 32, and then I said, you know what? Make it 33, and we got a deal. And he goes. Do you have a coin? I said, you know what? I actually do. And uh, we tossed. He called. He lost. I got $33,000 for it. We flipped. And I lost. I'll be all right. I won't earn as much, but I'll earn something. And it's a great car to have in stock. It won't last here. It'll be gone. But uh, that's a lot for that car. Someday, you know, Keith shows up and he's blowing his horn and waving his hands, you know, like he's the only guy on the planet. But that's Keith. He can't help it. Love the guy. But he's in his own area code. Hey, Keith. Hey, how you Ted. Been, bro? How's it going, good my friend? Good, good, good. Good, to good. See good. You. Same. Same. You yeah. look good. Absolutely. Yeah, you do too. I'm Keith Gordon. I'm a classic car lover. I uh, have a collection of cars, several I bought from Ted. I'm bringing a 1966 C2 Corvette Stingray convertible here to sell to Ted today. So this is the 66 vet you called me on? Yeah, it's clean. It is clean. Original engine? No, it's got an IROC uh, 350 in it, 89. Okay. And drivetrain AC standard. AC car, which is yeah. good. Air work? Yeah, but in these cars, it doesn't work the greatest in any of them, you know? You're right. But it and does it's got knockoffs. Yeah. I spent a lot of time and money. Yeah, knockoff wheels. It's a pretty car. Um, I got new rocker panels. You have a hard top for it or just soft top? Say again? One top or two? I got both. Good. I've got the hard top. Goes matching. with it? Yeah, it goes with it. Well, and soft tops underneath, and it's a good condition. You know, being a, a real straight, nice old car, I'm not picking your car apart, but being the engine swap takes a lot of my market away. So for me to really make money in this car, I would offer you like 35 grand for it. <laughs> well, I want to, I'm buying it to sell. These cars go for 70, 80,000 dollars, Not Ted. this kind. You know Not how much money kind. I got in this, especially with the I conversion? I don't care. Okay, uh, albeit that the engine is not an original engine. It is a newer engine. It's more reliable if you're gonna use it as a day cruiser or whatever, if you're a collector. And it runs like a new car. It runs even better than the older ones. And that's why I say, maybe under consideration to a buyer like myself, I would prefer a rest of mod. Take a look at the engine. I don't, I know what it is. It's a later, it's a later engine. I don't need to look at it. But it's clean. And we got electric. I don't care. Everything is modified. New alternator. It's nice. I am so happy. New compressor. It hurts the value of the car. At 40 grand, I'll make five grand maybe. I want to, I want to make something. I like it. You always make money, Ted. Are you kidding? You're the man. (laughs) So you want to sell me the car? It's always a guy who wants to buy a real hot rod, man. Stop. Would you like to sell me the car? Not for 40. We're close. If the car had an original motor in both tops like it does and air, that car could do 75,000. It'll take 30 off at least when it has an aftermarket motor. You're close, but I can't do 40, Ted. I got a lot into it. I, I'm only thinking of what I'm gonna sell it for, where I gotta be. 
So, I mean, really, that's... All right, it's you. We've done deals before. I'm going to give you my last offer, and I'm done. Yeah, I know when you say it's your um, last offer, you're right. done. And when I'm it. done, I'm done. I know that. Okay, yeah, and I, I really don't want to pay more than 40, but we've done enough business. I'll pay you 42 grand. I'm done. 42 grand, I'll shake your hand, and we're done. I'm done. <laughs> I will pay you now, but I am done. All right. Done. All right. All right, good, good. Yeah. All right, come on, I'll give you a check. Okay. Yeah, 42. It was a little less than I wanted to take, but I got the deal done. I'm happy with that. Um, in the future, I'm going to do a new deal, so I can apply it to that then. But right now, I'm feeling good because I got too many cars. <laughs> when I offered him 35, that was just throwing a line out. I knew he wouldn't do that. I would have liked to have bought it for 40, but I can't tell within two grand what it's worth, so I paid him 42. And I mean, I was done, that was it, but it's all right, I'll make money. I'm not worried about it. I think it'll go into the fives. Oh, God, what a nice day. I hope it's gonna be a really nice day because I'm on my way to go see my brother, Ted, who I haven't seen for a while, and uh, see how he's doing. He's had a pretty rough time the last couple of years. And uh, hopefully, I'll, you know, we'll have a good time, and I'll help him with his cars and see what's going on. I thought the last two years were really tough, but I thought I was pretty much through it. Now I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what she's going to do besides drive me up the wall. So I don't know what to do with her. I don't see any reason to disturb the peace and have her here. Oh my God, what is this music? This is like ancient, it's doo-wop. I gotta get out of here. Let me change the station. Okay, that's gonna be much better. And that'll be it. So I'm gonna go visit with my brother a little bit and we'll see how this goes and if I can help him in any way. I was thinking what to do with her. You know, she's as mean as a junkyard dog, so maybe I can put her on to security. You know, I, I like my clients to stay, but once she talks to them, they'll leave. So I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll have to give it a shot. So I'm talking to my friend Lisa. She's the conga player in my band. A 56 Chevy two-door hardtop pulls in a lot. The Bel Air looked familiar, but when I saw the driver, he looked familiar also. I had to search my memory bank to remember. I see a lot of cars, I see a lot of faces. Up, I recognize Ted? the car. I sort of recognize you. How you doing, my brother? Good, man, how you doing? Great, man. I'm here in Ted because I want to make a deal with him. I'm trying to buy a Volkswagen, 22 windows, so I'm gonna try to sell this so I can buy the Volkswagen. First thing that really got me with the car was the red, and the chrome is really beautiful. I'm gonna do my very best to make sure that car stays here. I like it a lot. You know, the 55, 56, and 57 Chevy are called the Tri-5s. They're hard to touch these days. I mean, you go to an auction, those cars bring crazy money if they're the right car. This car is really, really nice. It's not up to that level yet, but it's not bad at all. I really think it's beautiful. It has AC, too. So what's up? I just want to get something else. You want to trade it or sell it? Sell. What kind of money are we looking at? 60, 70. Made me an offer. You never, you never mistreat me? No, but I got to look a little bit. There is no way I could possibly pay that for the car. If that's going to be the firm price, I got to let him go home. The seats are old. 14 oh, years. Yeah. I'd probably have to do them over if I want to get top dollar. I'm going to check the gas tank. That's one of the cool things about this car. When you gas it up, you always know it's a 56 with that. So how close to 30 grand could you sell this to me? Are you out of your mind, Ted? I've been out of my mind for years, but I'd like to stay in the car business, so I try to make a profit. 
the offer that he made me was a little bit low because I put a lot of time in the car, a lot of love and everything. So I know that Ted loved that kind of car. So I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to go out with $40,000. This is a bad boy. What do you got under the hood? 383 Stroker. Oh, it sounded like that. You know, from the outside, the car is gorgeous. I've got to get into what's underneath the hood and what's inside the car before I know exactly what I can pay. I like what you did here. I like this. Nice, huh? Yeah. I like all that you did. I think under the hood's really important. I don't think it, it looks great. So how do I buy your car? Give me $50,000. <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? I can't, no? Carlos, because I'm not going to make any money on the car. And I want to buy it, and I, I'm not criticizing it. It's a great car. But thirty-five grand is a really fair offer for a car in this condition. And I'm not knocking it. It's a great car. But $35,000 right now, I'll cut your check. I check your hand right now for forty grand, and we, we do Where'd you deal. pick that number? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I that's got a, it. That's it, huh? You check it for 40? I know you like it. I love it. I, I, I admit it. I guess so. It's 40 grand. I'll take it. All right, you happy? Uh, super happy. Come on, I'll cut your check. He was sticking me with that 35. Ted started on my 56, and he hurt the motor. Get out of the car and open the hood, look at the motor. I know I got my $40,000 right there. The reason I stepped up to 40 is I'm watching the auction results. I'm watching what these cars are bringing, and they're all beating that number. And this one has air. It's been done. It's an older restoration, but it's nice. I'll put this 56 in my front window, and it'll draw people like a magnet. It's just got the colors. It'll be gone. It won't take long. I'll make money with the car. This isn't my first rodeo. I'll be fine. Okay, I came here to Ted's. You know, he has a reputation of being very tough, but uh, I can be tough too. I'm looking for a nice Corvette. The price range I'm looking to stay in is between ten dollars and $12,000. I'm looking for a Corvette. Well, you're in the right place. I got them. These are nice. They're sexy. You got something sexier? You want something that pops? Pops. Yeah. I got one that just, just came in. Okay, let's check it out. I'll show it to you. The car I'm thinking of for William is a 95 convertible Corvette that I have. It's got the target top, six speed, air conditioning, leather. It's blue with a white stripe. It's just real sexy. I got lots of sexy cars. Now that's sexy. This is what I like, Ted. This is beautiful. What you think? Can I get inside? Of course you can. I really like the Corvette. It's a 90s car. It's sexy. I like the lights. Everything that it has is what I'm looking for. Yeah, I like this. It's manual shift? Yep. OK, I'm definitely interested in this. This is what I had in mind. The leather's like brand new. Show you something. Like the lights, 90s now. You always like to know that they work. Yeah. William likes my 95 Corvette. I've got a price at 16.5, and honestly, my bottom line is 13.5 on the car. It's got custom wheels, custom paint, and he likes it. I can see in his face, he likes the car. I think he'll buy the car. William, car's hot. It's I what agree. you want. Yeah. It's 16.5. Let's get this done, and then you can go. You told me that the price for the Corvette was 16.5. I was looking more along. 12.5. I'm willing to negotiate and meet him halfway. OK, I love the car. It's sexy. The price is not. I was thinking more around 12.5. No, it doesn't work that way. I'm not going to take a $4,000 shot on a car I have for three days. You know, to be nice, how about 15 grand? And well, you're good. 15 is better than 16.5, but still a little too high for me. I think you might want to look at a different car. What if I give you a cash offer? I don't mind offers, but if I had the car for a month or two, I would feel easier about it. <laughs> I only have the car for like three days. Is that the set? So put it back on the lot. See if somebody else buys it. Well, it'll be gone. Don't worry about it. <laughs> is that the end of the world for you? The end of the world for me is 13.5. Can we do it at 13? Yep. Sounds Five. like a deal. 13.5. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. a deal. Let's go. I'll write it up with you. Uh, okay. The paperwork. You can take it home. 
Uh, making the deal with Ted was a little tougher than I thought it was going to be. Ted was uh, stuck on his 16.5. He just got the car in, so he didn't want to budge. But at the end of the day, he met me at my price, so I'm happy. Corvettes, if they're clean like that one, will sell fast. When they're rough, it's a much harder job to sell. And he went right to that car. We saw how clean it was, and we were good. But he didn't like the other ones. I could see it. I'd like to take this home. Hey, Ted, it's your sister. Where are you? Are you hiding? Hey. Hey, Melinda, how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Give me a hug. Hi. You look pretty good. No. You know, for your age. So how's the family? How's Uncle Bernie? Dead. He's dead. How about Uncle Lenny? Dead. Aunt Shirley? Dead. How's, how's our wonderful big brother doing? He's almost dead. <laughs> Good. He's... I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Did you pay for those? Actually, yes, I did. I like them. You actually did? Yeah, in Kitzbühel, Austria. Those are, uh... They're great. I do, when I sing, I wear these quite often. People love them. Really? Yeah, they come over and rub and make sure they're real. <laughs> well, it's really good of you to come by. I, I got a lot going on right now. Uh -huh. So uh, I've got so many people doing so many things to me right now, and I'm... Well, I'm not exactly, like, stopping in for a minute. I'm going to actually be around because I'm staying at my friend's condo on the beach. So I'm going to, you know, hang out and see if you need any help and torture you a little. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting in my office, and then I hear this shrill voice outside, and it's her. My first thought was to hide under my desk, but it's too late. She's already right outside my door. So I walked out, and I got greeted, and I said hi, and... My phone was ringing off the hook, and I said, look, I'm having a very busy day, so let me walk you out. And I walked into her car, and then she said, well, I'm going to be in town a few days. I'm going to come in here and help you. Help me what? So now I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what she's going to do besides drive me up the wall. Good luck. Sell some cars. Make some money. Bye. Bye. What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Why me? I'm a good guy. Mm -hmm.